There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. An Ikeware game. With some programmers. And again, no sound. So it says sound of music. I, I don't hear any sound of music. Let's skip on and see if we can get some in game. Apparently not. Well, that's most disappointing. Um, let's ignore the help text and go straight in. Oh, good lord, I had that turned up way too loud. So, this is Shards. A Greek alphabet-like game. And I don't know what I'm doing. So maybe I should have looked at that help text. It looks like a sort of puzzle game. Uh, but I could not tell you how to do it. So, what's up? Uh, well, I decided not to read the help text game and that was a mistake. So let's have a look at the help text. Shards documentation using DocView 1.0. Okay, that's intuitive. And that did nothing. Ha <laughs> ha! We're on our own. Let's let's try and figure this out then. So there's various symbols. Aha! And if you hit space, you can make them sort of join together. And because this is the first level, it's like quite forgiving. I'm not sure yet whether that's the case. Okay. Let's just get rid of all these in the time period. I don't know why they're changing color, but I'm moving away as they change color. What happens if we stay on it? No, it does nothing. You have to move away. And I have a feeling I would have fallen off the board there. If I'd got that wrong, which I did not, because as everyone knows, I'm brilliant at puzzle games. Okay, and we're through. And that's how you play shards. Level completed. And there's that uh, password, which is EO Jorup. And we got new music. That's nice. So. Oh no. This is where it all goes wrong for James. Okay. So, how do we. Can we move adjacent? No, we can't. We can't move adjacent. The, the, the numpad does nothing. And we can't seem to turn that over to that block. It's one of the rules of the game, I guess. And those patterns won't match. And we've reached the absolute limit of my puzzling capabilities. And there is a time limit, speaking of limits. And I'm going to run out of time here. Uh, Yeah, I'm done. Let's try it one more time. So is there an order that I have to do this in? Like that looks too obvious, just to do those two. I wonder. No. See, when you're on them, you can't do anything. You have to be on one of the symbols. But again, we can't seem to Right, we'll get these two out of the way, right, and then we're stuck in the same position. And we can't move those blocks down out of the way or anything. So how do you complete this? There's probably somebody watching this somewhere who's thinking, James, come on, you can't brute force this, there's not enough time. 
and they'd be right. But they'd also have the solution, and they'd be like, what are you doing? What did you do wrong? And that shards, it's a simple tile-based puzzler. Um, it's not too offensive. It didn't fill me with any great sense of wonder or joy, but I'm not a puzzle fan. So if you like block-based puzzlers, this is another one, which, you know, it seems playable. Arrow keys in space, doesn't get much easier than that. And if you like me talking about random DOS games and not understanding them half the time, feel free to check out the hundreds of other videos. And if you like what you see, for some reason, subscribe. Until next time. Because I will never figure this out. <laughs>